الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على عبده ورسوله محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين My dear brothers, my dear sisters, my dear human being, because this message is not for any in particular person, it's for every human. Because it's a feeling of a human towards those humans we seeing suffering, losing their beloved ones, especially and particularly the kids, the most innocent souls killed without any reason. Really, I wasn't going to commit on these terrible, horrible events. I was planning to talk about the last 10 days of Ramadan, the most honorable, great days of our life, the days of forgiveness, of mercy, the days of love and care, the days of cherishing the life of the innocent people. But I couldn't really talk about these things when I see these most innocent human being being killed in the most horrible, horrific way. What could I say? What could I say to my kids? What could I say to my people? What could I say to my citizens of Australia? How can I explain to them what's happening there? It's not only Gaza. What's happening in Iraq? What's happening in Syria? What's happening in Egypt? And the list is so long. This is why I hold myself so many times not to talk about it, because I don't know what to say. I don't know who to condolence. Really, myself need someone to come and calm me and condolence me and cooling my burning soul. But neither everyone is crying and doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. You hear it on the news, from every corner, innocent children. Everyone say that word, but what we are doing about it? What our government and other governments seeing all these horrific scenes and doing about it? I have nothing but to raise my hands and to call upon the Almighty. He is the only one can put the mercy on my soul and everyone's soul. He is the only one 
especially in these 10 days, can put the tranquility in our souls. The souls of these mothers whom lost their children, the souls of these mothers whom lost the most beloved things in their life. One of the grandmothers lost her children and her grandchildren, 18 of them at once in one hit. What could the world altogether say to her? What could the world altogether convince her with? I don't know what to say. Do we lost our humane? We became we become not a human anymore. What happened to us? We start to see the blood like spilling some of the water, cheap water. Glory be to the Almighty God, the one who can forbid that and stop that shed of blood from every human. I want to see some peace, some tranquility in our life. In the next generation, I don't know what to say to these kids when they hear that. When they hear in the news, But as the Almighty said, he doesn't like unjust and he forbid unjust on us. I say to my people and to all the mankind, stop the injustice and work together to bring justice to the humanity. And I raise my hands, especially in these beautiful nights, to ask the Almighty to compensate these families of their loss. He is the only one can do that. And ask them to forgive us for not doing much because we can't do much. Allahumma ghfir lana, warhamna, wa'afina, wa'afu anna. Allahumma alayka bil zalimin, min kulli bani adam, khud haqqana minhum, wa ghfir li ahli Gaza, wa li ahli Sham, ولأهل العراق وثبت قلوبهم وانشر السكينة فيهم واجعل هذا العدوان ردة إلى الإسلام ونعمة لا نقمة إنك ولي ذلك والقادر عليه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته